Hello everybody and welcome to Mexico and this is qualifying for the Invictus Racing League F1 Equal Performance League. As right now we see Foxy Red out there in the Alfa Romeo. How are you doing everybody? My name is Tim and I am absolutely ready to bring you some of the best racing here at the Mexican Grand Prix tonight. Just a reminder, this is our second and final preseason race of the Equal League. So this race is not for points, it is simply for bragging rights and also to help the admins properly choose what drivers need to be assigned to what cars. It's a lot of behind the scenes things. So just as a reminder, because I saw we got a new viewer on Twitch, this is purely a race to help the admins and it's for bragging rights of course if you win, there is no points involved. As right now we see Foxy Red, he's in the stadium section. He is on his outlap. He's about to start his first qualifying lap. We're going to see just what kind of a time he can put down next time around. And right now we have about five cars or so out on the track. Actually, no, five cars in the pits. And about ten or so out on the track right now trying to make a fast lap. Many drivers right now on their outlap. But Foxy Red, the first to officially start a qualifying lap here today. while I make sure that the stream is perfecto. Thank you for your patience. You still see Foxy Red on your screen. No one has completed a lap just yet. We're going to ride on board with Foxy Red as he goes into the stadium section. Very smooth. Maybe a little bit of a corner cut, but I don't think the stewards had any issue with him whatsoever. Now, this stadium section, it's going to be a very tricky section. Once you enter that stadium section, you see that little green area right off the track. That is going to be an area to watch. Yesterday in the Performance League race, as right now we see that Foxy Red has set a time of 117.4 with Yas in, a, with Yas in first right now with a 117.2, just barely beating out Foxy Red. But as I was saying about the stadium section, yesterday in the F1 Invictus Performance League races, we saw a lot of drivers go wide in that section and it's a good place for overtaking, but it's also an easy place to make a mistake. So definitely watch that section here today. As right now we see that Tam Worth Fox is now set the fastest time on the board with a 114.441, followed by Sam the Paito in second with a 115.040, Yas in third with a 117.2, and then Foxy Red, who is currently on your screen with a 117. Point four nine three. Meg Luck Pie with a 117.1. White Fountain with a 115.0. We're going to look at Meg Luck Pie right now as he is in that Red Bull. Although he is going slow, he has. He's happy with this lap, at least for now. We're going to look at BSR Marquesas now in the Williams. He is at the fourth fastest time of this session so far with a 116.001. Almost a 116 flat. Literally just a thousandth of a second off. Eight drivers now have set a time. We're going to now look at the telemetry and actually see exactly what tire each driver are running. As you can see, the top three have the soft tires, followed by three drivers in the hard tires. No one has elected to go out on the medium tires just yet. Yesterday, the medium tires were actually the way to go, starting off on the medium tires and then actually fitting the medium tires again on your first stop, then going to the softs later on. At least that's the strategy that we saw a lot in yesterday's race for the performance. are coming around to try to complete a lap. He does not improve on it. Scope Builder, though, 
Now, 114.772, second fastest on the board so far. Schofielder, he was one of the drivers in the Performance League race yesterday. I believe he finished in the second position behind Mr. Sky. It was a good performance by Scope Builder yesterday. Looking for a good performance for him today. And already he's starting out strong with the second fastest time with just over 11 minutes remaining in the session. Very easy through the corners, this scope. Now he's heading for the stadium 17. He's not trying to set a fast lap this time around. I don't think he thinks he's just trying to get back to the pits. In fact, yes, that is what he's doing. BSR Mark West is now entering the stadium section. That green section right there, as you see, he went a little wide. That's not going to be an uncommon occurrence in the race today. Definitely to keep an eye on that stadium section. If there's going to be a wreck, it may be there. If there's going to be a massive overtake, it's going to be there. If the leader is going to make a mistake and go too wide, it's going to be there. As now we see M. Doran in the Ferrari. He currently has the sixth fastest time in the session with a 116.849. Currently on the hard tires, as you can see to the left of your screen, only four drivers so far have elected, well, our top four drivers, mind you, have elected to set a time on these stops, followed by four drivers on the hard. Boxy Red, the lowest driver with a time who has fitted the soft tires thus far. Dorn is fun. M. Dorn is fun just out of view of the camera. Unfortunate for M. Dorn. I mean, luckily, though, he was right at the pits. He could pull into the pits, make some adjustments, maybe fit some new tires. Who knows what he needs to do, and then he can get back out there and try to set a fast lap. But already we have a spin, which unfortunately was just out of view of our cameras. White Fountain and the Toro Rosso coming out of the pits. He is our fourth fastest qualifier thus far with a 115.061. He is also on the soft tires. It looks like soft tires are the way to go here. A lot of people are going to be starting on the soft tires. I would assume that that would mean that we're going to see pit stop start no later than about six to eight laps in. Yesterday in the Performance League race, we saw that tires, medium tires, could last about 14 or 15 laps if you were able to manage them. I think some drivers may have gotten to last a little bit more, though there was a safety car, mind you. So taking that into consideration, I really don't expect the soft tires to last more than 7 to 10 laps. Yellow flag in sector three, likely another competitor letting the fast one by. No, actually, it's Archie. Archie has actually stopped on the track. We're going to see what's going on there. He stopped on the track. I don't know if he has any damage. It doesn't look like it. I think he may have just been letting someone by, but it's odd to come to a complete stop on the track to do that. Nonetheless, no incident there whatsoever. Archie is now crossing the line. He is going to start his timed lap. He's one of only three drivers who have not yet set a time here. Otherwise, we have 12 drivers on the board. Now, 13 drivers on the board who have set a time. Of course, you can see Tam Worth Fox is still leading this pack. Well, the qualifying pack, mind you, with a 114.4. Scope Builder with a 114.7 in second. Sam the Paito in third with a 115.0. White Fountain also with a 115.0. Ben Musket with a 115.4. BSR Mark West is 116.001, Speed Queen 80, a 116.196 thus far. 
That is your top seven with IXE Fun, 160.368. Yas in ninth with a 116.737. M. Doran, 10th with a 116.8. Meg Lugby, 116.942. Foxy Red, 117.245. He was actually the first driver to set a time in this session. And of course, Jamie Ryan in 13th thus far with a 117.9. Now we see L.R. Archie coming around to complete his first lap. Where will he wind up on the board? Actually, no time lap thus far, but Tam Worth Fox has now set an even faster lap than what he had before. That is a 114.321 for Tam Worth Fox in what appears to be, yes, in fact, it is a racing point machine. We're actually going to ride on board with our current pole sitter to maybe see what his secrets are. Well, maybe he heard that as he actually slowed down a bit there, though it looked like there was a yellow flag in that section. Now, Mayo of Foxy Red just got by Tamworth Fox. Of course, it's qualifying. So track position isn't a concern thus far. You only need a fast time. Speaking of fast time, it looks like White Fountain is going to be maybe giving Tamworth Fox a run for their money as White Fountain has set the second fastest time of 114.4 and that is only a tenth off of the whole time thus far, which is a 114.321. So that's only a tenth of a second off. Very close times already here. And we still have approximately five minutes remaining. All drivers but one have now set a time. X Rossi 21 down there in 15th, he has not set a time. Of course, it is not required that you set a time, but if you do not, then you're starting at the back of the field. So even though it's not required, I don't know why anyone would want to try, but I've seen it happen before. Currently watching Sam the Pico in that McLaren, as he is absolutely whizzing by those corners, and now he's heading towards the stadium section. Looks like he has a fast lap going. A little bit of lock up there. Gets by the stadium section relatively unscathed. Just a little bit of a lock up heading into that section. He's about to cross the line. No, he will not. He will actually pull into the pits. He's going to make adjustments. Will not cross the line for a lap that time. Foxy Red, he set the fifth fastest time of 114.863. LR Archie just ahead of him with a 114.842. Right now, we're going to look at the Mercedes of Jamie Ryan, who has now set our eighth fastest time of a 116 points, excuse me, a 115.653. Riding on board with him as he goes through the stadium section, taking it very easy right now. I expect he's actually about to make a pit stop very slow through that stadium section. No, actually, he's going out for another lap. Ben Musket has now set our eighth fastest time with a 115.472. Tamworth Fox still on top of the board thus far with a 114.321. That time has not changed. Followed by White Fountain with a 114.4. His time has not changed. Scope Fielder in third with a 114.609. LR Archie with a 114.9. And Foxy Red with a 114. Excuse me, LR Archie with a 114.8. And Foxy Red also with a 114.8. At your top five as they run right now. Just over two minutes or so remaining in this session. All drivers but one, as you can see, have posted a time. 
And one thing I'm going to know here is that nobody has elected to qualify on the hard tires. Yesterday in the Performance League race, we actually saw a few drivers qualify on the hard tires in hopes that, actually for a minute I thought that there was a yellow flag. In fact, there was, but now it is lifted in Sector 2, still in Sector 1 though. Now it is completely green. But anyway, as I was saying, yesterday in the Performance League race, some drivers actually elected to qualify and start on the hard tires in an attempt to maybe stay out longer and get track position and then hit for better tires later on. But today, I'm seeing that almost everybody has decided to start on the soft tires. We actually only have two drivers who have set a time on the medium tires, that being VSR Marquesas and the Mercedes who we're watching right now of Jamie Ryan. Everyone else is on the soft tires. So are we going to see the mediums prevail today or with so many drivers electing to have the soft tires, will the soft tires be the better choice to start out with? Viewers on Twitch, if you want to comment on that, go ahead, feel completely free. Right now we still watch Jamie Ryan just over a minute remaining in this session as now it looks like every driver has set a time with X Rossi 21 setting the 10th fastest time on his first lap. That is a 115.571. He is elected to use the medium tires as well. So now we have three drivers out there on medium tires and 13 on softs. New fastest lap by Yas in a in the Renault with a 114.223, a tenth of a second faster than Tamworth Fox's 114.321. Yas now at the top of the board with only 15 seconds remaining in this session. Riding on board with our current pole sitter. In fact, no, he is not, as LRRG is now set the fastest time with a 114.204. Only about a hundredth, two hundredths of a second or so quicker than Yoss's time. LRRG in the Alfa Romeo, now on top of the board. As the session is now over, all the drivers that are out on track will be allowed to complete their final lap, so long as they complete it within the allotted time you see on your screen. But so far, LR Archie, who we are watching on our screen right now, is in command of this qualifying session and will start the race from the pole position. Followed by Yoss with a 114.2. Tam Worth Fox, who held the pole position for this qualifying session for most of it, but has since been knocked down to third, will start with a 114.321. White Fountain in fourth with a 114.4. Scope Fielder with a 114.6. VSR Marquez is a 114.7. Seventh is Sam the Paito with the 114.730. A 114.740 goes to M. Doran in eighth. Ninth is Foxy Red with a 114.863. IXE Fun in tenth with a 115.8. One nine six Ben Musket in eleventh one fifteen point two four eight Jamie Ryan in twelfth with a one fifteen point four nine one X Rossi twenty one thirteenth with a one fifteen point five Speed Queen eighty one fifteen point eight and Meg Luffy fifteenth with a one sixteen qualifying is over. Archie is officially your pole winner right there in the Alfa Romeo just as he pulls into the pits. Congratulations to Archie. He will start this race from the pole position. Now again, just a reminder, this is a preseason race. There are no points being given out at the end of this race. The win, simply for bragging rights. But hey, try telling the drivers that. Try telling the drivers that this win doesn't matter. Try telling the drivers the race doesn't matter. Answer, you can't. You cannot tell those drivers that the race doesn't matter because they are going to run this race hard because a win is a win no matter what. So now you see our starting lineup. Congratulations again to L.R. Archie who set the fastest time with a 114.2. Just barely though as Gios had a, had a 114.223. Only two hundredths of a second slower than Archie.
we got a comment on Twitch. RNX Sky Z, I believe that is Mr. Scott. Congratulations again to your win yesterday. He says, let's go scope. So we already have a scope filter fan in the chat today. Thank you for watching, Mr. Sky. So right now we're looking down the F1 paddock. Currently having some audio issues, actually. I hope it's fixed for the race. I had this issue last week. I'm going to try to work it out once this uh, race starts. I was told by using the pause button, sometimes it fixes it, but obviously it has decided not to work right now. A little bit of interesting input from a driver. I mentioned Mr. Sky on Twitch. He said that for this track, you really prefer to be in the third position rather than the first position when starting. So that's actually a very interesting take. So by that logic, it looks like Tam Worth Fox is actually in the best position on this start, at least according to Mr. Sky. Still currently waiting for all the drivers to ready up. The session's going to start in approximately 15 seconds, and I hope to have this audio issue fixed. I'm, I don't know why this happens. I don't think it's an issue with Twitch. I think it's an issue with F1 2019, the game in general. Now, is this the formation lap, or is this the start? Yesterday, we did not have a formation lap, yet today we do. This is, in fact, a formation lap. Yesterday, during the performance leap, we did not have a formation lap for some reason. I think there was just a miscommunication over uh, whoever set up the lobby, but it didn't matter. It was just fine because the race turned out to be very exciting. I'm looking for the race today to be just as exciting, if not more. I just get a chance to warm up now. And I get a chance to go down the lineup, the starting lineup, as you see LR Archie in the Alfa Romeo, of course, starting first. Yoss in second in that Renault. The racing point machine of Tamworth Fox lining up in third. White Fountain in that Toro Rosso is in fourth. Scope Builder in another Renault, he's in the fifth position. VSR Mark West is in the Williams in sixth. Seventh is San the Paito in the McLaren. M. Doran in the Ferrari just behind him. Foxy Red in the ninth position in the Alfa Romeo. IXE Fun appears to be in, yes, the other Williams car out on the track as Ben Musket is in the other McLaren car. Jamie Ryan in that Mercedes, he lines up in the 12th position. X Rossi 21 in the Haas machine will be in 13th. Speed Queen 80, she is in 14th in the Toro Rosso and Meg Lugby, 15th position in the Red Bull. It's now the drivers in the formation lap. The back of the pack has for the stadium section, the front of the pack already on the front stretch. They are about to line up. This race is about to get underway. All the drivers to line up in their qualified positions on the grid. This race will be underway very shortly as now you hear the engines revving and the lights are on. It is time to go and time to go very shortly. There are the lights back. Two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. Green lights and away we go. The Mexican Grand Prix for the equal the fitness racing league equal is officially underway as now we have a three wide battle for the lead going into turn one. Yas right now with the advantage, but Tamworth Fox, now we have a four wide battle, four wide battle briefly for the lead. Tamworth Fox in the first position. Will he be able to make it stick coming out of this corner? No, he will not as Yas and the Riddle has in fact got the advantage. He is now in the first position, followed by Tamworth Fox and Archie. They are battling and battling very, very hard riding on board with Archie right now. As you see that racing point machine of Tamworth Fox right on his inside. 
very hard racing here right at the beginning. This is what I'd like to see, very hard racing, but very good racing. As you see, Tamworth Fox in the racing point, riding on board with him, right on the bumper of Archie. No contact whatsoever, but right there, putting pressure on him. Now in the stadium section, Yas in the Renault still up front. LR Archie in the Alfa Romeo second position. The racing point of Tamworth Fox in third, followed by White Fountain in the Toro Rosso. An enormous amount of pressure from White Fountain on the racing point machine. Scopefielder in the Renault back in the fifth position. Foxy Red in sixth. Sam the Paito in seventh. As now there's actually about four position back there between Scope Fielder and the Alfa Romeo of Foxy Red. Foxy Red did not get the position, but we're going to ride on board with him and see if maybe he can set up a pass going into this next corner. He will not be able to set up the pass this time. He falls in line behind Scope Fielder. His next opportunity will likely be entering the stadium section. Is now we go back further in the pack as the X Rossi 21 battling and battling hard with the Williams and BSR Marquesas. Rossi has gained quite a few positions on this start. Good job to Rossi, he's now up to the ninth position. But he gets way loose coming out of that corner. How he saved that, I have no idea. Nonetheless, he obviously did. We're going to ride on board with him through this stadium section. You see BSR Marquesas right there in front of him. This pack of about four cars are approximately nose to tail as now we start our third lap. Going down the front stretch, Tamworth Fox set the fastest lap of the race thus far where they won 18. Tamworth Fox now actually making a move for position on LR Archie and he will clear Archie. Tamworth Fox moves into the second position, Archie back in third. Try to get that position back. I don't know when. I don't know if he's going to be able to set it up going into the stadium section. Definitely need to try. Kenworth Fox, though, just completely pulling away from Archie now. Now you see Yas has a three second time penalty for, for multiple warnings from the stewards. Very unfortunate for him, but it's not going to be the last time he'll be we see today from any driver. Further back down the field now as we see Scope Builder in the fifth position in the Renault. He is chasing that Toro Rosso of White Mountain, not close enough to make a move and does not have the DRS yet. Going into turn one, he gains a little bit of time from White Mountain. White Mountain walks up the right front, but no one gets through that corner any worse for wear. BSR Marquesas. Marquesas got the position, but he locked up that right front and locked it up hard, and that's going to allow Foxy Red to try to make a move on his inside, but Foxy Red just will not make the position this time around. Riding on board now with Foxy Red in that Alfa Romeo. They are heading towards the stadium section as BSR Marquesas goes just a little bit through the dirt. I don't know how the stewards are going to feel about that, but nonetheless, went through the dirt, he did, and yes, actually, he has a three-second time penalty now for multiple did not like that whatsoever. Another lockup from BSR Marquesas, and Boxy Red goes just a little bit wide in that section, but nobody gets through worse for wear. Just behind Boxy Red is the McLaren of Ben Musket. He is putting on an enormous amount of pressure on that Alfa Romeo, while the Alfa Romeo in turn is putting an enormous amount of pressure on that Toro Rosso. 
the McLaren has the DRS. He's going to try to make the move, but he is just not close enough to get it this time around as Foxy Red will stay in the eighth position for now. White Fountain up in the fourth position. BSR Marquesas in the Williams, excuse me, not the Toro Rosso in the seventh position. Hunting down that McLaren of Sam the Paito just in front of him. Marquesas yet again went through the dirt that time around. Don't know how the steward's gonna feel about that. Gets a little loose coming off that corner, but he gets through relatively unscathed. Now we have a slow driver of White Fountain. White Fountain is really slow going into the stadium section. He is losing a lot of time. Not sure what happened there. White Fountain, who was running about in the fourth position, is now dropped all the way back to sixth. And now White Fountain, White Fountain is wrecked. There was contact. There was contact with White Fountain. And I believe the Williams of VSR Marquesas, it happened in just a blink of an eye. As now you see the White Fountain in the Toro Rosso is officially out of this race. White Fountain has retired from the session. That will be a DNF for White Fountain. Very unfortunate circumstances. That car just has no wing, no front wing on it whatsoever. But already, yes, in fact, it does appear as though that there was contact between White Fountain and BSR Marquez is that Williams has just pulled into the pits, assumedly for new tires and a new front wing. He rejoins this race in the 11th position. He was running in about the 7th position. Ben Musket now in the 7th position in that McLaren, putting on an enormous amount of pressure on that Alfa Romeo and Foxy Red just ahead of him in 6th position. here on lap seven, electing to go for the medium tires. Rejoining this race now, up front, Yas is quite very much ahead of LR Archie as he is getting an enormous amount of pressure from the Renault of Schofielder just behind him. Just a little bit of jostling for position there going into turn one, but LR Archie has the advantage as now Schofielder is going to make the move on that inside. Will he be able to make it stick? We're gonna ride on board with him. Now we're going to ride watching this battle they are neck and neck, side by side, wheel to wheel. LR Archie with the advantage out of this corner, but Yacht, excuse me, Scopefielder has just a little bit more speed. LR Archie will officially clear. Scopefielder going out of that corner. They're heading to the stadium section now, and Scopefielder, he's going to be able to maybe make a pass into the stadium section, but just behind him, he's going to have to watch his mirrors as the McLaren of Sam the Paito is right there ready to pounce. what tires all the drivers are running. BSR Marquesas, when he pitted just a few laps ago, has elected to take on the hard tires, perhaps just trying to gain as much track position as possible and stay out there for as long as possible on those hard tires. Scofielder still on his original set of soft tires, Ben Musket on his original set of medium tires, but all the drivers that pitted a lap before and Tam Foxworth who pitted before that, all have elected to take medium tires starting on the softs.
I'm looking for Scope Filter, Ben Musket, and Foxy Red to come in this lap. And if not this lap, undoubtedly the next. They cannot stay out there very much longer. Ben Musket will be able to stay out maybe a little bit longer than Foxy Red and Scope Filter because he is on the medium tires. And now Scope Fielder has went into the pits and Ben Musket will inherit the lead. Ben Musket in the McLaren on those medium tires. Eight laps on those medium tires thus far. He right now is in command of this race. Tamworth Box back into second position. Yas in the third position. Ben Musket is the only driver right now to not pit, and he is nine seconds ahead of Tamworth Box. He won't be able to hold the lead with that kind of a gap, but it may have been a good call for him to start on the medium tires. It may have very well helped his track position. Now we have another retirement of M. Doran and X. Rossi. I don't know what happened there. Apparently there was some sort of incident. I apologize that I missed it but there must have been some sort of incident between X Rossi and Endorn as they both will suffer a DNF and have both left the session at about the same time. So now we have only 12 drivers left remaining on the track. Started with 15, three drivers have officially been classified as a DNF in this race. Ryan. He is our 11th place runner at the moment. Currently no battles on track. Everybody is just very much spread out. We're going to ride on board with BSR Marquez. He is only about a second and a half behind the Alfa Romeo of Foxy Red. Not close enough to get the DRS. So nothing is going to come of it. At least not this lap. As Ben Musket is still in the lead with nine laps on his tires that he started this race on. Riding on board with Ben Musket right now. In that McLaren, he's taking it very easy. I think that he has officially switched his entire conservation mode. He's trying to stay out there for as long as possible, but I hate to break it to him. Tamworth Fox, just a lap or so ago, was nine seconds behind. That gap has now shrank to 5.6 seconds. Ben Musket, not doing himself any favors by staying out on this track right now. I'll be looking for him to maybe pit this time. He's nearing the pit entrance. We're going to see just what he does, but he stays out yet again. Ben Musket will not pit this time around. It's going to be a very interesting strategy that he's trying out right here. I want to see if it's going to work for him, but my early predictions, I don't think so. Second place runner of Tamworth Fox. We're gonna ride on board with him just so you can get an idea of the gap between Ben Musket and Tamworth Fox. First and second positions. It is a decent gap, but the gap is closing with the passing of every lap. Tamworth Fox on those medium tires really driving hard. Three second time penalty for LR Archie for multiple warnings. As I said, this Yas was not going to be the only one you saw today. Sam the Paito also with a three second time penalty. LR Archie has officially moved into the third position on track overtaking Yas. Not sure what's going on there. Yas' car actually appears to be ghosted. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with Yas. We will come back to this and I'll update you as soon as I know something. But going back to the lead just for a moment as Ben Musket is still out front on these medium tires. 11 laps on these tires but the gap to second has shrank to 2.6 seconds. 2.6 seconds. Yas's car still ghosted, unknown what's going on with him. Right now we see Sam the Pike who is going to be making a move on Yas right now. 
I assume that Yas is disconnected from the session. Maybe he's going to try to join back in. But I'll update you as soon as I have information on that. As right now we look at LR Archie in the Alfa Romeo in the third position. Very far away though from the battle for the lead. As Hamworth Fox in the racing point has now shrank that time down to just 1.2 seconds and it is constantly shrinking. We are going to stay with this battle as undoubtedly there will be a move for the lead going to turn one if Ben Musket does not hit this time around and no he will not. Ben Musket will in fact stay out on the track. This will be 13 laps, excuse me, 12 laps on his medium tires versus six laps on Tamworth Fox's tires. The racing point has the DRS, has the advantage. He's going to try to make the move, and he does make that move on the inside, and he makes it with relative ease. Completely clears Ben Musket going into turn one. Ben Musket now back into the second position. Tam Worth Box in first. On board with Ben Musket, you see that racing point machine just completely pull away, and it must be gut wrenching to watch if you're in the driver's seat of that McLaren. Ben Musket, definitely not what he wanted to see, but 12 laps on those tires. He's trying to make them last as long as absolutely possible. Maybe, just maybe, he's trying to make it on a one-stop strategy. I've seen it done here before, but it is extremely, extremely hard to do. seconds now separate Tamworth Fox and Ben Musket and that gap just keeps growing. If Ben Musket does not hit this time I will be surprised. Like I said I have no idea what his strategy is right now but Ben Musket yet again will stay out. This will be the 13th lap on those medium tires. 13 laps on those medium tires. Everyone else has anywhere from four to seven laps on their tires. He has the oldest tires out here in the field right now. Tamworth Fox still obviously in command of this race. LR Archie in the third position. He cannot even see Ben Musket right now. Behind LR Archie, three seconds behind, is the McLaren of Sam the Pito. His scope builder has just went around Sam the Pito. Scope builder in the Renault now in the fourth position. Sam the Pito in fifth. Scope builder, pretty fast car here early on. He's going to try to catch Archie, obviously, but that is three seconds ahead. It's going to be a few laps before he gets up there. Back down the line as we see Foxy Red and the Alfa Romeo putting a little bit of pressure on that McLaren. Of course, the McLaren giving just the amount of pressure back to Scope Builder in that Renault. This car is running approximately nose to tail. No chance to overtake here. But at the end of this straight, there will be. But Foxy Red just is not close enough to even try to make the move on that McLaren as they go through the stadium. Foxy Red will stay in the sixth position. Five seconds behind him is BSR Marquez. And it looks like Foxy Red actually cut the corner. Cut the corner pretty bad there. I'm going to be looking for a penalty here in a moment. I didn't see anything pop up on the screen. But that was a big corner cut from Foxy Red. I highly doubt that the stewards will let that go. Our Marquez is in the Williams right now in the seventh position. 2.4 seconds behind, excuse me, 5.5 seconds behind Foxy Red. Yas in the Renault is 2.9 seconds behind that Williams. We go back to the battle between the Renault, McLaren, and Alfa Romeo for fifth, sixth, and seventh positions. There's a little bit of lockup from that McLaren. running in the second position, 14 laps on his tires as you're watching the battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth positions between Scope Builder, Stan the Pito, and Foxy Red. Three car battle for the fourth position here. Scope Builder not pulling away as much as he would like to have pulled away from that McLaren. 
Foxy Red now putting an enormous amount of pressure on that McLaren. Not going to be able to make the pass this time around, but very close indeed. Definitely utilizing the slipstream of DRS there. Wonderful exit by Foxy Red out of those corners. He is right on the bumper of that McLaren. I look for him to be making the pass in the next lap. If he does, he makes it now. There is some contact. They lock their wheels. They lock their wheels. They have the fight doing Foxy Red. They lock their wheels. There was contact going to that corner. Foxy Red surrendered the position back to Sam DePaito, almost as if an apology, saying that it was his fault. It just looked to me like Foxy Red tried to duck out and pass Sam at the very, very last minute and just misjudged ever so slightly, and their wheels locked up momentarily. That could have been a lot worse than what it was, but definitely some wing damage for Foxy Red as he is just now dropping like a rock, receiving a lot of pressure from a Red Bull behind him. It looks like it's Meg Lugby, who is actually one lap down. In fact, yes, it is Meg Lugby as we're riding on board with him right now. He is in the 12th position, but he is one lap down, one lap behind his Foxy Red. LR Archie, LR Archie, what was stopped momentarily in that corner. I could not get to him quick enough. I don't know what happened. But you saw Foxy Red pull into the pits. He was right in front of Meg Lugby as we were riding on board with, with him. LR Archie now rejoining this race in the fifth position. Still don't know what happened. I don't know if he has any wing damage whatsoever. I assume maybe he just spun on his own. We saw M. Doran spin at that same section of track in the qualifying Session, so that very well could have happened to L.R. Archie. Yas still in the sixth position. His car still ghosted. I assume he is not in control of that car. I assume that is purely AI driving for him right now. And while we were watching the battle, and the contact a few moments ago. We now run on board with Ben Musket, who has pitted for the hard tires and re rejoined this race in the seventh position. I completely missed his pit stop, but apparently he was able to make the medium tires last approximately 15 laps. So good job by Ben Musket, and so far, it looks like it's going to pay off for him at least a little bit as he is putting pressure on Yoss. Mind you, that is a ghosted car, but he is undoubtedly going to make the pass for the sixth position very soon. Archie in the fifth position, two seconds behind. VSR Marquesas, who, in in all the chaos, has worked his way up into the fourth position. VSR Marquesas, who was involved in that incident with White Fountain earlier on in this race, had to pit and get a new front wing on, is and he pitted for hard tires to stay on the out on the track longer. Excuse me, I'm stuttering here. But VSR Marquesas now in the fourth position. A good recovery for him thus far. We're gonna see how those hard tires work out for him as there was a little bit of a lockup going into the stadium section there. Further up the board, we have Sam the Paito in the McLaren. He is in the third position thus far, 11 laps on his tires. Scopefielder has worked his way up to the second position now. He is second with 10 laps on his tires. Tamworth Fox in first still, 12 laps on those tires and 11 seconds ahead of Scopefielder in second. on board with Scope Builder. Normally, that's what you would want to see. Absolutely nothing in front of you until you realize that you're 11 seconds behind the leader. Not what Scope Builder wants to see, but nonetheless, second position is very respectable here. And we still have about 17 laps or so to go. Meg 
Lucky putting a little bit of pressure on Seth with high toe. Now Meg Lucky is is a lap down, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna now watch the Red Bull. Nonetheless, he's running near Sam Haito. Really not putting pressure on him. Not sure why Meg Lucky is having such a rough race today, but he is all the way back in the 12th position. Lap 20 of 36 here, Tamworth Fox still leads in that racing point. Scope Fielder in second, Sam Napaito in third, VSR Mark West is in fourth. Ben Musket in the fifth position, four laps on his hard tires. IXE Fun in the sixth position, Yas in seventh, Speed Queen 80, she's in the eighth position. Foxy Red 2000, ninth, LR Archie in the tenth position. Jamie Ryan in the Mercedes, he is 11th, and Meg Lucky is 12th in that Red Bull. No battles happening on track right at the moment. Looks like this race is going to come down to time penalties and pitch strategy. And sometimes that's just part of it. Of course, I do look for the leaders to make another stop as Tamworth Fox has 13 laps on those tires. As you can see on the left of the screen, he cannot go much longer, but he is still putting distance on Scope Fielder. I suspect that what they're trying to do is make the medium tires last as long as possible and then maybe pit for soft tires later on. If you can make, and I feel that that is actually a good strategy to consider if and only if you can make your tires last at least five more laps. Considering soft tires only last about seven or eight laps, it's really close if you want to try to come in and fit soft tires. If you come in and fit medium tires, then obviously you're not going to have a tire issue for the rest of the race. It may not be as fast. Tamworth Fox, of course, don't think he's going to have any issue, but maybe further down the pack there may be some drivers that want to elect to take the soft tires to try to get as quick of a lap as possible. Sam the Paito now with a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Just another penalty to add to the board. Sam the Paito currently running in the sixth position. About a second or so behind IXE Fun in that Williams. You see just ahead of him. If Sam the Paito can get to a DRS zone and be within range of IXE Fun, I do believe he'll be able to make the pass. He looks much faster than that Williams. But we're just going to have to see as they are headed toward the stadium section now. Riding on board, obviously, with the McLaren. And he does make the pass, and he makes it with relative ease. IXE Fun just completely let him go there. Sam the Paito, zero laps on his tire, so he has actually made a pit stop. And now it looks like Scope Builder is in the pitch. Yes, he is, as is VSR Marquez, who you saw just ahead of him. Tamworth Fox has pitted and elected to take the medium tires, and he has rejoined his race in the first position. Zero laps on those tires. Ben Musket in the second position. Six laps on those hard tires already. Ben Musket, definitely not what he wanted to see. I'm sure that he wanted to be able to get up into that first position, but he just was not close enough. As we see Ben Musket right there behind him, a scope builder in that yellow Renault. Just behind the Renault is the McLaren of Sam the Paito. Zero laps and one lap on those tires. Sam, head out to Scope Builder as Scope Builder just completely pulls away. Scope Builder ready to chase down Ben Musket, who is 2.6 seconds ahead of him. Scope Builder, he has a fast car here today. He has an extremely fast car. He's a very quick driver, but I don't think he's going to have enough to catch Hamworth Fox. He is gaining on Ben Musket, and that's a good sign. But already, Ben Musket is 10 seconds behind Tamworth Fox, so Scope Fielder is about 11 seconds behind. And to make up 11 seconds and only 13 laps, I just don't think it, it can be done.
constantly closing that gap on Ben Muscat. I'll look for an overtake to happen at the stadium section. I believe he will catch him by then as he is now right on the bumper of that McLaren, putting in a lot of pressure on that orange car on Ben Musket. McLaren goes through the dirt just a little bit. I don't know how the stewards are going to feel about that. We've seen drivers get high penalties for that today. Schofield are utilizing that slipstream, going to try to make the move on Ben Musket. No, he will not. He thought better of it, just could not quite line it up but undoubtedly will try to make that pass going into turn one. As now they exit the stadium section, coming down the front stretch around that final corner. On the front stretch now, crossing the line. This is for the second position as Schofielder makes a move on Ben Musket. Will he clear him? Yes, he does, and with relative ease. And now Ben Musket is getting more pressure from behind from another McLaren of Sam the Paito. And just in a matter of a lap, Ben Musket went from second position all the way down to the fourth position. That just goes to show the advantage that new medium tires have over hard tires. The medium compound versus the hard compound. Of course, I am not trying to insult Ben Musket at all for electing to take the hard compound tires. It was definitely a good call and to be fair it looks like it's going to pay off for him at least somewhat as he has decent track position thus far. IXE Fun also suffering a DNF, not sure what happened there. He will be scored in the 12th position. Four drivers currently out of this race. 11 cars on track. It's now the Williams of BSR Marquez is putting a lot of pressure on Ben Musket. Maybe those hard tires aren't as good as I wanted them to be. Scope Builder, the fastest lap of the session so far with a 116.5. Scope Builder in the second position, 12 seconds behind Tamworth Fox as the Williams easily made a pass on Ben Musket. Ben Musket for a minute was going to try to make a move on the Williams, but he thought better of it. Just does not quite have the speed. Ben Musket now dropping like a rock, but maybe, just maybe, he'll be able to hold on to the fifth position as LR Archie behind him and Foxy Red both have hard tires. Now from Sam Pito's perspective, he looks forward to Scope Builder in the second position. Everybody chasing the racing point machine of Tamworth Fox, who is in command of this race. Ben Musket with a five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Sam the Pito went fourth as BSR Marquesas went by him. Williams is a very fast car here today. Just a little bit of lock up from that left front. Lap 26 to 36, 11 laps to go here in this race. Tamworth Fox still in command, 12 seconds ahead of Scope Builder in the second position. We're riding on board with the third car of BSR Mark Wessis, who is 2.5 seconds behind Scope Builder. A big lockup from Mark Wessis going into the stadium section. Very big lockup, but he gets through relatively smoothly. Foxy Red now with a three second time penalty for multiple warnings from the stewards. I suspect there will be no more pit stops for this race. No more pit stops and it is now 10 laps to go.
11.9 seconds now separate Scope Builder and Tamworth Fox. Now back to 12.011. I think Tamworth Fox is slowing down just a little bit. We're going to ride on board with him and watch what he's doing. I suspect he's trying to save tires. That would actually be a very good idea as he already has five laps on those tires with 10 laps to go. That would be 15 laps on the medium tires. But with a 12 second advantage, the best thing for him to do is just conserve his tires before when he needs them. Let Scope Builder use his tires up. That is what's going through Tamworth Fox's mind right now. Three second time penalty to Sam. A lot of three second and five second time penalties being handed out today. Now we see BSR Marquez is trying to chase down the widow of Scopefielder. I think he's reeled him in just a little bit. Separated only by 1.7 seconds as there was a lockup going into the first corner. BSR Marquez is just absolutely driving the wheels off that thing. Seconds now separate Scope Fielder and BSR Mark Wessis. Mark Wessis trying to really in Scope Fielder for that second position. Nobody has anything for the racing point of Tamworth Fox, who has been in command of this race for quite some time now. 12 seconds ahead of Scope Fielder, so two seconds to be exact, as there was another lockup from Mark Wessis. The gap now shrank down to 1.168 seconds. Mark Wessis might be able to get the DRS going down the front straightaway here. Not sure it's going to be close, but I don't think he's going to get it. No, he will not. It is 1.2 seconds separating Scope Fielder and BSR Marquez. He will have to wait one more lap at least to get the DRS in this zone. There is a DRS zone right here, but yet again, he still just is not quite close enough to capitalize on that. Now they go tight left-hander and tight right-hander. Scope Builder in the Renault, BSR Marquez is in the Williams. Less than a second separating these two now. This is the battle for the second position, not for first. As Tamworth Fox, as you see right there on your screen in the racing point, is in command of this race 12.1 seconds ahead of Scope Builder. Marquez is with a big lockup in that right front. Very big lockup. That's very common for Marquez. As I said, he's driving the wheels off that thing. He's trying to get the fastest lap he possibly can. He's trying to catch Scope Builder, and he might be able to take advantage of the DRS this time as he is only 0.9 seconds behind Scope Builder. And there it was. There was that beat. There was the signal that he did get the DRS. He's trying to use the slip string and trying to use DRS to his advantage, it does not pay off for him this time around as he only closes the gap by about two tenths of a second. Another DRS zone coming up right now, gonna ride on board with him yet again. Another beat for the DRS. He activates the DRS, he is chasing down Scope Builder. He might have this position in two laps time, seven laps remaining in this race. Tell is this Reno and Williams and another lockup from VSR. He's not going to have any tires left on that thing at this rate. And VSR goes way, way wide. And a three second time penalty to VSR. Four multiple warnings from the stewards. Undoubtedly going way too wide out of that corner. Just got a little too throttle happy, went too wide. Very unfortunate for him. We now have a yellow flag in Sector 3. I don't know what has happened, but it appears as though both Meg Lugpie and Ben Musket are out of this race. I don't know at all what happened, and now there's a battle. Sam the Paito, Sam the Paito. 
was spun around at the exit of the stadium section. And now he's pulling into the pits. Sam the Pito retired from the session. Another DNF. Only nine cars now out on, excuse me, I believe that would only be eight cars now running on the track thus far. Foxy Red on your screen right now in the fifth position. As Speed Queen moves into the sixth position. Going back to check on the battle between Schofielder and BSR Marquez. As 0.3 seconds separate the Renault and the Williams. Heading toward the stadium section now. Will BSR Marquez be able to even come close to setting up a pass on Schofielder this time around? No, he will not. As they go into the stadium section, of just a little bit of a lockup, but not as bad as we saw in the past as now the Williams is right on the bumper of that Renault and they are battling and battling very hard for this second position. Coming around the final corner, going down the front straight away, they will complete lap 31. It is now lap 32 of 36. BSR Marquez will get the DRS, but will he be able to make the move on Schofield? He's going to try using that slip trick to his advantage. Schofield moves down to block him. BSR Marquez says, that's okay, I'm gonna go on to the outside and Around the outside, he does. He, BSR Marquez is clear scope fielder. He is now in the second position third. But mind you, that is 13.2 seconds behind our leader of Tamworth Fox, who, with 10 laps on those medium tires, is just absolutely in command of this race. Scope fielder now with a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Schofielder now driving that car and driving that car hard. Schofielder now 1.2 seconds behind BSR Marquez. As Marquez has got by Schofielder and he is absolutely pulling away. 12.1 seconds now separate him and Tamworth Fox. And BSR Marquez is driving just as hard as he can. He wants this win. I don't think it's going to happen. There just is not enough time. Only four laps remaining in this race. But that's not going to stop him from trying. You have to try, and I respect the effort. As the gap is now shrank down to 11.7 seconds. those S's. Scope Miller, nothing he can do but watch as that little dot in front of him just fades away. Scope Miller going to have to settle for third position here tonight. Jamie Ryan now with a three second time penalty from the stewards. Jamie Ryan is the last car running on the track as he is in the eighth position. We have six drivers, seven drivers, excuse me, out on DNFs. On the left of your screen, that is Sam the Pito, Ben Musket, Meg Luckby, IXE Fun, M. Doran, Rossi, and White Fountain. Yas now the last driver running on track. His car is still ghosted. I believe he was disconnected from the session. But the AI has still been driving for him. No incidents there. Fox, as you see on your screen, still very much in command of this race. Lap 34 of 36 remaining. And as Tamworth Fox crosses the line, that is now two to go. Two laps to go in this race. Nobody will have anything for Tamworth Fox. It's going to take a drastic mistake on the Racing Points part 
if VSR Marquez is going to even have a chance at winning this race. No battles for position, no battles for the lead on the track right now. Scope Builder in third position as we're riding on board with right now. As you see, VSR Marquez is in the Williams just ahead of him. Big gap there. Scope Builder was the fastest driver on track earlier today. Now he's going to have to settle for the third position. As once VSR Marquez has got by him, the Williams just completely pulled away. Riding on board with BSR Marquesas. As you see, the Renault of Yoss, they are currently approaching that ghosted car. As I mentioned earlier, he most likely was disconnected from the session. That is why his car is ghosted. He is currently being scored as the eighth place runner, but obviously at least one lap down. is going to make the overtake this time. Of course, it's not going to be very hard at all. I mean, you can drive right through the car. I guess that's the beauty of these sports. Last lap, final lap, white flag in the air for the racing point of Tamworth Fox. We will ride with Tamworth Fox, keeping our eye on him as he completes his final lap as he approaches the stadium section. He will be scored our winner so long as he can finish this race and so long as he has not acquired more than 11 seconds in time penalties. Though with a 11 second lead, I feel that he is pretty Pretty safe as Jamie Ryan has another three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Jamie Ryan running in the seventh position. On board with Tamworth Fox as he rounds the final corner and he will cross the line in the first position. The racing point of Tamworth Fox has officially won the Invictus Racing League Equal Performance Mexican Grand Prix. VSR Marquez is rounding that final corner as well in the Williams. He is in the second position and he will cross the line. He will officially finish in second. No, he will not actually. A scope fielder due to time penalty. Scope fielder will in fact finish ahead of VSR Marquez. Seven seconds ahead of VSR Marquez, mind you. A scope fielder will actually walk away with the second position, followed by VSR Marquez and LR Archie in the fourth position. Foxy Red, of course, in the fifth position, who you saw go by on your screen. I don't know why LR Archie has just stopped there on the track, but the race is over, so no detrimental effect to his track position as now you see Speed Queen 80, the last driver who needs to finish. She is rounding the final corner in that Toro Rosso riding on board with her. She is going to pass the pit entrance and pass the line. Where will she end up? Fifth place, fifth place for Speed Queen 80 in the Toro Rosso. And what a race it was. Congratulations to Tamworth Fox in the Racing Point Machine for coming in first place, followed by Scope Builder in third. And of course, VSR Marquez, excuse me, Scope Builder in second, VSR Marquez is in the third position. And there you have it, the Invictus Racing League Equal Performance Mexican Grand Prix, a preseason race, mind you, no points awarded, simply bragging rights. Congratulations to our winner, Tam Worth Fox, in that racing point machine, who qualified third and ended up in first at the end of the race. Scope Builder in second, followed by VSR Marquez in third. A very good recovery from him after having an incident with White Mountain earlier on in this session. LR Archie, fourth place, followed by Speed Queen 80, sixth place is Foxy Red, seventh is Yoss, eighth place is Jamie Ryan, Sam the Paito in ninth, Ben Musket in tenth, eleventh is Meg Luckby, IXE Fun, 
in 12th, Imdor in 13th, X Rossi 14th, 15th is White Fountain. I hope you enjoyed the race. I hope it was very entertaining. I know it was entertaining for me. This is probably one of my favorite tracks, even though I absolutely hate that stadium section. Again, congratulations to Tamworth Fox, and thank you for each and every driver who raced with us tonight, and thank you for each and every viewer on Twitch. My name is Tim. Until next week, I will see you later, and bye-bye.